Have you ever wondered how setting boundaries could totally change your life? I want to talk about a book that helped give me permission to set boundaries in my life. No More Mr. Nice Guy by Dr. Robert Glover. This book described how I lived my life for so long, I'm excited to share with you what I learned so you don't have to repeat the mistakes that I live with through my boundaries. I used to be that guy that just went along with what everyone else wanted, a life-sized doll that anyone can just carry around with them. I learned at a young age that I had to put aside my own needs in order to make sure that everyone else was happy. I did this so that I felt safe. No one would get mad at me, no one would judge me. I did this for so long that I totally lost the person that I am. I had no idea what my interests were or how to speak up for myself. As a result, I never asserted myself, I never said no to anyone, and the person that I am was locked away in the recesses of my mind. I remember when I was a kid, my parents put me in a little in Little League soccer. I did it for two years and didn't really enjoy it at all. I always felt like I didn't belong and it scared me to have any control over the ball because it meant that everyone was looking at me and they had such strong expectations of my behavior and success. I could have told my parents I didn't like it, but I didn't want to disappoint them. I saw how important soccer was to my immigrant Portuguese family, so I thought it would make them happy. But before I was supposed to start my third year of soccer, I broke down hysterically crying. I didn't know how to communicate my needs outside of an emotional meltdown. It wasn't until I read No More Mr. Nice Guy that I realized that I wasn't alone with this pattern of behavior. That setting clear boundaries, communicating my needs, and prioritizing my well-being were skills that I could learn to help improve my life. What really clicked with me from the book was that the mask that I wore of people-pleasing was there to protect me from the belief that I was worthless. That as long as I wear this mask of niceness and do things that people expect of me, that I can earn that sense of worthiness from others but that feeling of worthiness never came. I carried that belief for decades until the mask finally shattered in the form of a panic attack. I took in so many expectations and controlled myself for the benefit of other people for so long that my psyche just couldn't take it anymore. Like a computer filled with too many conflicting programs, the whole system just crashed and burned. But Dr. Glover's book taught me that saying no is actually a sign of strength, of self-respect. That taking care of my needs and myself doesn't hurt other people. It's okay to say no to things that don't align with my values, that don't serve me, and it's okay to prioritize my own needs to put myself first. As I started setting boundaries, I noticed a shift in my relationships. The people who truly cared about me respected my boundaries and our relationships became stronger and healthier. The people who didn't respect my boundaries clashed against them. It created friction that brought attention to the fact that these were not people that I wanted in my life. And that was okay too, because I realized that I was worth more than being taken advantage of than being walked all over. I was worth being respected, being valued, and being loved for who I am. One of the most powerful takeaways from the book was the concept of integrity. Dr. Glover talks about having integrity means being whole, being complete, and being true to oneself. This reinforced the importance of discovering who I am, what values that I resonate with, and living my life according to them. And boundaries are the way of preserving my values. A pivotal moment came when I realized that setting boundaries wasn't about controlling others, but about controlling myself. It was about taking responsibility for my own life, my own emotions, my own needs. No one knows my needs better than I do. No one is going to take care of me better than I can, and that realization changed everything. I started setting boundaries that were clear, that were firm, and that were respectful. And I started experiencing healthier relationships, more self-respect, and a greater sense of confidence. The biggest takeaway I want to leave you with is that setting boundaries is not about being mean or selfish. We all have homes where the walls and doors protect us from the outside world. We choose what we let in and what we keep out. Boundaries are the same thing, but with our psyche. It's about being honest, respectful, and kind to yourself. Some people you invite in and others never get past the threshold. And that is not only okay, but the healthiest thing you can do with your life. If you enjoyed this video on setting boundaries, then you'll also enjoy my other video on personal development right over here. Thanks so much for watching.